Governors elect. While many organizations are tackling the topic of diversity, equity, and inclusion, or DEI, I would suggest the bar is set higher for Rotary because of who we are. One of our core values is diversity, and being equitable is at our very heart. We regularly ask, is it fair to all concerned? And I'm equally sure we consider ourselves to be an inclusive organization. However, how far along our journey to full diversity, equity, and inclusion have we really come? Have some of us even taken the first steps? When we look more deeply at our clubs and our districts, do we really value diversity and celebrate the contributions of all people with whom we interact? Do we truly recognize that individuals from certain groups have historically experienced barriers to membership, participation, and leadership in our communities? And are we committed to advancing equity in all aspects of who we are and what we do? Do we strive to create an inclusive culture where each person knows they are valued and belong? Are we truly committed to being honest and transparent about where we are in our DEI journeys and continuing to learn and do better? To be truly committed to DEI means being committed to creating a more welcoming environment for everyone who interacts with our clubs, helping us to better engage our existing members and welcome new ones by making everyone feel respected and valued. This is beneficial in its own right, without question, but it's also beneficial to Rotary as an organization. It creates fertile conditions to help grow Rotary and enhance our reach in communities, allowing clubs to build new partnerships, become stronger and become more effective and relevant in the process. So as we know, President-elect Jennifer is asking us each to do our part to advance DEI. Our first step is to learn about DEI and define why it truly matters to each of us as individuals and to our clubs and communities. Once we have a shared understanding of DEI and why it's so critical to the health of our clubs and the positive change we wish to make in the world, we need to take action. Here are a few examples of the steps we can each take. Create a D district DEI committee that is diverse and invite both Rotaractors and Rotarians to serve on it. Plan with your governor line to ensure its chair serves a three-year term. On a wider front, encourage learning, growth, and action on DEI in your clubs. Suggest Rotaractors and Rotarians come together to hold discussions, innovation forums, and brainstorming sessions with members and other participants to gather ideas on why DEI matters to our clubs and how they can advance DEI. Sharing these approaches and outcomes will mean we can learn as we move forward together in our DEI journeys to create lasting change. Then, make sure that your focus on DEI is reflected in all your events and communications. Support or sponsor events that explore and foster learning about DEI and advance equity and inclusion in your clubs and communities. As part of our breakout sessions later today and then through my Rotary, you'll have access to many more ideas to help you and your clubs on your DEI journey. Diversity, equity, and inclusion may already be a part of who we are, but we are at best only part way along our journey to unlocking its true potential. Let's join President-elect Jennifer in her initiative to carry this essential effort forward, creating a more diverse, equitable, inclusive, and better Rotary for us all in the process. Thank you.